Within this book lies a journey from simple beginnings through to the highs and lows of success, and where such a winding road leads towards the straightened path of destiny. Come with me on this journey as I look back on the life of my husband and myself and those who helped bring a school dream into a reality. On the 15th of August, 1815, the year of the Great Battle of Waterloo, my dear James was born, the eldest son of John and Mary Dilworth in the quiet Irish town of Dunsirk. At the age of eight, he was sent to live with his aunt, Anne Dilworth, an unmarried and childless woman of wealth. She would put young James on a course to benefit greatly from such generosity and in turn lay the foundations for him to build himself a life through which he would be able to help others. And so it was. The dream of a school for boys came to be. The legacy to carry on the great name of Dilworth was alive and well. Within the year, more boys arrived to join our growing family, and the looks on their faces as they played, laughed and learned would have brought the greatest of joy to my dear James, as it did to me. Although much hard work went into establishing and continuing to run the school, it was, I believe, the courage of the boys who arrived as strangers and grew as brothers, as a family, that really carried the legacy of Dilworth to the future.